If you want to improve any area of your life, there are two things that you really need to rely on. Now, the first thing is for free. The first thing is just your time and attention. You know, if you put time and attention into any endeavor, you will make some kind of progress. So let's say you want to improve your physical physique, like at the gym or something like that. Like that. If you go to the gym, you will make some progress, you know. Um, or if you want to start an online business, if you spend your time doing stuff that's, you know, moving towards a specific business model that you want, like you will make some kind of progress, right? Um, so that's the first thing, is your time and attention. Uh, the second thing is money. If you put money into some endeavor that you want to improve in, it just 10x's the, um, the productivity you make in that thing. So let's go back to the example of going to the gym. If you, if you want to get in the best physical shape of your life and then you hire a personal trainer, that is going to be so much better. Especially that trainer that has a clear idea, you're both aligned about what the two of you want. Um, that just gives you so much more advantage. It basically saves like a year of training just because you don't have to test anything out. You know exactly what works from them because they've tried it and they'll tell you and they'll hold you accountable. Um, or if you want, if you're doing YouTube like I am, you know, and you edit your videos like I do on my other channel and, you know, it's a bit of a time sink doing that. You can hire like someone to do it for you who does it better than you. And then you've literally got like twice the amount of time to just work and making, you, you know, like all that time that you're not editing YouTube videos. You can just make more content for more YouTube videos. Um, so you're just doubling your output. And in a sense, you're spending money there and then, but further down the line, if you, if you think long term, you're gonna be increasing your, your, your earnings from, from those videos, you know, cause you're making more of them. So it's gonna be, you're gonna be making more money long term. So yeah, I mean, it's funny, this, this year that like, I've really realized that like, if you wanna make progress fast, like throwing money at something is, is just the best way to do it really. And like some, some aspects of your life, like it's better for you just to do it by yourself and work it out in your own little way and whatever. Um, but there are some, if you really do just want results fast, then putting capital into it is the most important thing to do, I think. Um, and you know, you need to put your attention and your time into it as well. Like you can't just do something, throw money at something and then not think about it or whatever. Like you still need to take it seriously. Uh, but it's, it's just amazing how, how powerful money is at improving things. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is a big revelation that I've had this year and what it's, it's made me think is there's a real, um, if you're, if you're like a nine to five worker, you work an office job, there's a real necessity to spend money on where it's most valuable, where you get most of the reward back and minimize spending where you get least, where you get less returns, right? Um, and so this is where budgeting comes in, basically. It's where you basically only invest your money in stuff where you really get a return on investment and just really just take down to the absolute minimum the stuff that you're not focusing on, the stuff that you don't really need and just focus on like, the, the bare necessities. Uh, and this is what I've done this month, basically. I've made a decision about what I want to invest into, which is basically... One way or another, it's, it's business. It's this YouTube, YouTube channel, my other YouTube channel, and various other projects that I've got going on that I want to um, invest money in, into. Um, so that's what my focus has been. And I made a decision that everything else can take a back seat, really. And that includes, like, my diet. So usually I actually spend quite a lot of money on my diet because I do believe it's important to eat healthily. And eating healthily often means spending more money on your your food. You know, like I've been experimenting with a lot of these kind of like ketogenic diets and low carb diets, where you just basically just don't eat 
uh, carbs, you know, you just eat kind of meat and vegetables and stuff like that. And I've, I've had a lot of fun, like, experimenting with this kind of stuff. And I, I do think, like, it's beneficial for me to do it. Um, but I've just made the decision this week that, like, that's not my focus. Like, I don't need to focus on that right now. Um, and I've just decided instead just to, yeah, just not worry about it. And I've just decided I'm going to spend as little money as I possibly can on food for this, this month. And this has mean, meant basically taking a hit on how healthily I eat. I mean, obviously, people, people have different ideas about what's healthy, what's not healthy, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, and, and to be honest, like, as far as, as I feel, I've just decided to take a hit on the quality of my nutrition just for this month so that I can see how my other endeavours improve um, and see if it's worth still investing in that. Um, so basically, like, I went for a shop this, this weekend and I decided, like, how can I just basically get as much food as possible? Basically do, like, as much of this month as I can do food-wise for as little as possible. Because um, I thought, look, like, if I'm spending money on, on these, you know, like, for example, my other YouTube video, I'm, I'm going to Belgium this weekend, you know, I've got to um, spend money getting there and stuff like that, you know. Um, so, but if I can just spend, as, if I can just have as much food, like, in the house as possible, then I've got no reason to, like, worry if I run out of money, you know. What does running out of money really mean, you know? More importantly, it's like running out of livelihoods, you know. But like, I'm not saying it's going to happen, you know, like, I'm reasonably sensible. But let's say, like, all these other investments, they just take a massive toll and I hit, like, zero and I've still got a week left until payday. Um, if I do, like, a big enough food shop, if I, if I prepare for the worst, I'll still have, like, a bit of food in the freezer that I can just eat for that, that week and be fine. Um, so yeah, this was, this is kind of my attitude. I was like, literally just stockpile as much stuff as it's kind of reasonable to, you know, I don't want to do like a sort of, um, uh, COVID style thing of just taking everything, but you know, enough, enough food that like would co pretty much cover me for this, for this month. And so basically what I did is I just bought like, you know, in, in Aldi, you just have those massive packs of, of chicken breast that cost like, they're just the cheap per kilogram of of chicken it's just the cheapest thing you can buy and they just come in these massive sort of family packets and obviously like it's intended for like a, a family but i just thought like um that would last me for um yeah but basically like a week or like definitely um a good few days so i just bought a few of those and and i went to like the rice section or like the kind of whatever um and I just bought a bunch of rice. I just bought several packs of rice. I just thought, yeah, there we go. Just stockpile this. Um, and I just bought a bunch of frozen veg. And that's about it. And I just went to the checkout and bought that stuff. Um, and, you know, I've been back since. I bought a bit of bread, a bit of porridge as well. Just because I think it's food that kind of bulks me up. It means that I'm not hungry, you know. Obviously, like, you know, if, if we're sort of talking about uh, a lot of health stuff, maybe this isn't the best stuff to eat, you know, it's kind of processed carbs, it's not amazing, but the significant thing is I'm not going to feel hungry if I eat this stuff, um, and for the purposes of this month, that's all that matters, just that I don't feel hungry. So anyway, I just bought this stuff, and then, yeah, chucked, chucked all of it that I, that I could in the freezer, and just cooked like a portion of it and yeah i don't know i'm just i'm just talking about it now because it just it just felt good you know um and this week like when i've had all this food just in the freezer that i've just been getting through i've just not spent like any money you know there's never been a point where i've been like oh i oh, i'm just gonna get a meal deal today or whatever or i'm just gonna oh i'm just gonna pop to the shops and you know buy something quick um, you know, because it's all taken care of, and that's such a nice feeling. Like, you know, I cycle to work, so there's just there's just no expenses. Uh, my ends, it's like literally, I, I cycle to work, eat the food that I prepare that I bring with me, then I cycle back, and then eat the same foods 
that I prepared for dinner. And that's it. You know, it's so nice. Um, and it just means that all the rest of the money that I have, it can just go straight into um, the business, you know, this YouTube channel. Like, like I say, like, I've got this trip to, to Belgium coming up. And um, yeah, you know, I was a bit worried initially because I thought, oh, it's going to be a bit tight this month. But just seeing like how I've acted this, this week, I've realized like I'm chilling, I'm fine. What I've realized is like when it really comes down to it, you can just really like spend fuck all money and you're fine. Um, and like I said, like, I made a few videos about this in the past and like people had some, like people thought it was a bit silly, whatever. Like, I'm not encouraging people to be ruthless with their money or whatever. Um, but what I'm just saying is like, it's so liberating to just be able to budget and, and then just spend the rest of that money on stuff that's like really productive and, and like really makes a difference. Um, and you know, like the food I'm making, you know, I'm cooking, like it tastes perfectly nice, you know, um, but it's just, I eat it and I just feel like this is the taste of freedom. You know, I don't, what I realized is like, I don't need to spend loads of money on, on like, you know, food that's convenient to buy or, or whatever, like with a bit of planning, I can just spend like very little money on it. Um, and yeah, it's such a nice feeling. So anyway, that's really all I want to talk about in this video. Um, if you click the top link in the description, I'm doing some coaching at the moment. Uh, if you're interested in these kind of, kind of topics, it'd be great to get you along. Um, so yeah, book a call, I'll see if you can fit, uh, stuff like that. But otherwise, um, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.